I just completed a roadie and I just had to hop on here real quick because man I just give praise to the most high because I was driving down this area that had so I was coming off a of side street and there was like this you know county highway and they were doing construction and so the part I was approaching uh, so the lane that would be coming from the left that part was blocked and then the side going to the uh, going back toward the left they had it split into two lanes but for whatever reason I was only looking at the cars coming from the right and because the lanes were split you know there were still two lanes but I guess in my head because I thought I was in the middle I was only looking at cars coming from the right side so uh, when I finally got an opening I pulled out and there were cars coming from the left and I oh my gosh if, if it weren't for the angels I I, I, I probably can't even say I, it could have been it could have been ugly because I could have gotten hit t-bone from the left because I didn't my I don't know my head in my head I just didn't register that this lane that I was turning left into still had cars coming in from the left I don't know so I just needed to get that out because uh, I'm still I, I was kind of sweating afterwards I'm like you know thank you yeah because that that could have been ugly so um I just give thanks to the most high because being out here on these roads you never know you never know what could happen so yeah i just wanted to hop on i'm not finished with this with this vlog but i just needed to get that out right now so i got my quick car today that was this morning and since it was like in the middle of the morning i went ahead and just and it's a monday i just went ahead and took this day to do the quick card and then take care of some personal things i needed to go to the mall for some events coming up so that's what I did today. But as I was preparing for this log, I was looking at or thinking back to the other day when I was doing a route with uh, the Timu company. Um, there was a child, you know, when you do these loads, it's pretty much during the middle of the day when schools typically would be in session. And this day I was uh, pulling up to this home and there was a child, like a teenager, walking down the sidewalk and I had... The house was on the left hand side but it was just easier for me to park on the side of the street instead of turning into a street in front of his house backing out and doing all that jazz so i parked on the side of the street and the kid you know kudos to him and his parents and whoever's training him so he's walking i pull up and park and so he crossed the street and went down the street on the other side of the street so i was like kudos to him because he knew to be safe and just some random cars pulling up on his side. You know, anybody can just jump out and grab him. So, you know, that was a good thing for to see him do that. So I thought that was pretty awesome for him. And, you know, I'm not trying to be that creepy person coming out and looking like I'm taking somebody's child. So, yeah, I was, I was, I was glad to see him do that. And I went ahead and let him past me before I got out of my car to take the package to this home. So yeah, that was just a little interesting tidbit from my day. I am kind of behind on this, but I do want to make sure I get this up and going. I went ahead and found this map. Well, actually I didn't find it, but when I was doing a route that took me like an almost an hour away from here and I went to the gas station to get some ice because my phone was overheating and my AC was out. It was just a horrible trip. So I noticed that they had local maps like for their area. Now I bought maps, but it's just for the state and you really don't get a good, you know, localized uh, map for uh, the city that I'm in. So I was glad to, uh, to see that because I was like, okay, maybe we have something like that. And, you know, in our town and I can go to maybe like the visitor center or something like that. So I called the visitor center and they actually did have these maps of the city for free. So I went ahead and got a couple of them, one for my car and one so that I can post at home so I can study my maps. You know, I want to be proficient 
I want to be knowledgeable <laughs> of this area. So uh, with this map, you know, it's 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 really nice because it shows the streets and whatnot for this area and not just for the state. So the plan is to take this map and mount it on corkboard so I can have it up and then I can put in my common areas that I go to like uh, my favorite gas stations and things of that nature. So the plan is to get these cork boards. I have six of them and I'm going to link them together and then put my map up so that I can uh, study that. So that is something that it's been delayed in terms of putting it together, but I am definitely going to be working on that. Most likely I'm going to be in the office all day today working on digital products and um, just working out details for my, for my gig experience. And I did hear back from Airspace. So I applied to Airspace sheesh a couple of months ago and I checked my email last night and I saw where I had an email from Airspace so I went ahead and completed that onboarding process and it, it wasn't too bad I, I had to upload a few documents and um, you know do their electronic document signing and all that but it, it wasn't too bad so that was part of the reason why, like, okay, I really need to get up on this Twig thing because I knew I needed to do it. I just wanted to have it in my back pocket so that way I can get access to like maybe the airport or where, wherever else I, you know, might have increased opportunities. So I, after I completed the airspace uh, onboarding process, I went ahead and went to the uh, TSA website and I completed the uh, the... I completed the pre-application for the TWIC appointment. So I went through and I entered all my, you know, you put things like your address, mailing address, residential address, um, you know, what uh, identifier, like your passport, driver's license, so what you're going to bring to your appointment. And I went through all that and, there, and the appointment was actually available the very next day. So I'm like, okay, let me jump on it, which was today. Let me jump on it and get this appointment. And so... I have, uh, she said that it'll take a couple weeks before the car comes in. So hopefully it won't be too long. But again, that's just something that I can have in my back pocket. I'm going to update my, my LinkedIn, um, my uh, resume, things like that, and put that as like a certification on there so that potential um, contractors or whatever can see that that is a certification that I have. So that's another one that I knocked out. I want to also knock out the hazmat or the nuclear medicine so I want to make sure I have that and then I gotta get this car situation because right now my car is uh, over that 10 year threshold so I need to figure out uh, how to get a newer vehicle so that way I can get those uh, medical contracts so that is something that's just kind of been mulling around in my mind how I can get a newer car and I might think about going the whole business uh business loan route uh but i guess i will figure that out on the go maybe use my husband <laughs> who's my fleet manager to uh he has better relationships with this particular bank that we're with see what he can if he can work his magic so that way you know i can get this loan and get a, a newer car i'm not trying to get you know 2024 or 2025 but just something that's newer so I can be within that 10 year window. So those are just some things that I'm working on right now. So that is, uh, that's it for this entry. And, uh, I guess I will see what goes on with the next one. So I had an offer that took me back out this afternoon. I had really no intention of going out, but Hey, it was an opportunity to take two separate roadies. So it was at one pharmacy, two deliveries. So I went ahead and selected that they gave me both offers and at the one I had an encounter with a dog. So the gentleman opens the door, you know, he's trying to block his dog from coming out. He, he was able to do it, got his medicine and went about his way. So as I'm coming to my car for, I don't know what happened, but his dog got loose and he is coming towards me. Fortunately, the dog was was a friendly dog and I could tell by the gentleman's physical movement that he 
uh, had some issues. He did have a sign saying that he was a disabled veteran, so it made sense. So the dog came to me, and I could tell the guy wasn't able to keep up with him. And to help the guy out, the dog came up to me, you know, I kind of petted it, and then I grabbed He had like this, um, those harness things on. So I went ahead and grabbed it so the dog wouldn't run off, and I just handed him back over to the guy. But yeah, um, that was... <laughs> My unexpected encounter with the dog today, and it actually happened to be kind of positive. So, um, I didn't need my <laughs> anti-bark tool today. So, uh, yeah, so the dog's actually friendly and I was, I was glad that he, uh, you know, wasn't trying to jump up, jump up on me or be aggressive or anything like that. So yeah, that was my dog experience for the day.